All right, what's up everyone on YouTube? I'm gonna do a breakdown of a balance patch 3.10. We've gotten Leroy, we've gotten Ganryu, we have a frame data. Thank God, finally we can lab easily. Uh, and we've had balance changes. Now, unfortunately, I helped uh, spread the fake news that we were going to get a major balance update in mid-December. Turned out, turned out to be bullshit. Sorry about that, my bad as well. Um, so we only have changes on a certain few characters. Now obviously Akuma has been nerfed. Uh, a lot of people saw that one coming. I'm just gonna turn off this. Uh, and basically what has happened is that his... Um, I just recorded this. Or so I thought. His Hadouken now is minus 14 instead of minus 13. So for example with Keys, we used to get back one two as a punish, but now if we have meter, you can actually go yeah, full launch. Uh, so that is a big nerf for Akuma, because there are a couple of characters who have 14 frame launchers, so uh, that's a pretty big deal. And then they also worsened the best keep out move in the game down to, uh, this move is ridiculous, those of you who don't know, what Akumas do is that they stand like this away from you, la 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 la, and what you don't see is that when they do the down two, they input the Hadouken, every time, but the Hadouken does, doesn't come out, So, but when the down two connects, the Hadouken does come out. So there's really no risk here, other than getting, uh, you know, um, lo low, high crushed, no, low crushed, I mean. Um, so what they've done, they've, they've nerfed this move on recovery. Um, it is exactly 5 frames, it recovers 5 frames slower now on whiff. Although I, I can't see, 5 frames is a lot, but I mean, it, this is still very spammable. And the, fr the frame advantage on hit is also worse, it's also worse on block, but down to Hadouken is still 100% guaranteed. So uh, this move is still busted. You know, um, if you block a low, like Kazumi's uh, down back 4, that's minus 12. That's a launch punish if, if you do... Uh, I have no meter, but if you do FADC. Um, so... Uh, Akuma is still very, very strong. What do we have so far for Akuma? We have a 25% bar meter gain reduction. Still very strong. We have minus 14 on the Hadouken. Still very strong. Um, it's just, he still has. Down 2 Hadouken. Down 1, 2. Counter hit. Into Tatsu. Um, you still have a, the down 3 into launch. Uh, so, yeah, he's still super good. Um, probably still the best character in the game. And uh, so, that that was all all that happened to... Uh, uh, oh, sorry. This is all that happened to Akuma, this patch. Uh, nothing more than that. Uh, and now we're gonna look at uh, Mr. Dragonov, who had something much more substantive happen to him. You probably know his uh, his season three combos involve three one into uh, sneak, I think it's called. But you see how slow the cancel is now. They've uh, they've made it four frames slower in speed. So after the three one, it takes four frames longer to go into the sneak. And this has made it so that all of these mega combos he had, they don't work anymore. You can no longer do 3-1, cancel 4-4. Four, four. Doesn't work. You can still at wall do 3-1 into shoulder, so that's still a buff he has with the 3-1 sneak. But this will no longer be used for pre crazy pressure mix-ups or completely ridiculous combos, you know, like 3-1, 3-1. Free one. It, it just doesn't work. So all of the crazy season free combos are gone. And that's probably a, a good idea because uh, that was... that was broken.
Uh, and now we're gonna look at Anna, who's actually had a huge buff, which is going to annoy everyone who runs into her in ranked battle, so that's going to be me included. Uh, the while uh, crouching, the full crouch down for two keeps them very close to you now. So from what I understand, you can always get the, the combo pick up here. Uh, what's the combo? Sorry, I don't play Ana. I, I just know the combo is super reliable now. So you never have to do that. You can always do the combo. Oh, okay, full crowd. Okay, I don't know the combo, but th this used to be... Anna has always had a problem with inconsistency. Uh, her launchers, you know, are, are always have... I've always had weird hitboxes and properties where combos are dropped. But now, um, this supposedly always works. Again, I, I don't play Anna. Okay. Uh, so th this is a huge buff for Anna. Uh, because now she has the most disgusting full crouch mix-up. You know, unseeable launcher. Unseeable low mid launcher, unseeable mid launcher. So that, that's gonna be very, very annoying. Um, and she also has a buff to down forward four. Fixed an issue in which the moves frame advantage when blocked would vary depending on if the opponent was standing or crouching. So it's always plus five now. Nice for Anna. Uh, then we have. Mr. Lee. And this is where I also thought that we were, gonna, we were going to get a big list for Lee with buffs. And that they would revert the Acid Rain 1-3-3-3 uh, back to Season 2. Uh, but nope, that did not happen. Instead, uh, 1 plus 2 into Hitman uh, recovers faster. Uh, this changed the frame advantage from minus 4 to minus 1. So when this is blocked into Hitman, you're in Hitman at minus one. And plus six when the move hits into Hitman. That's nice. And then forward three three, they fixed the issue where the second hit uh, could be blocked if the first hit struck the opponent from the side or while they were crouching. Uh, that was super annoying. That has been removed. That's great. That's a quality of life change. And then... Uh, apparently, Fort Fort 4 was buffed in that it doesn't knock the opponent. Um... Oh, unhit with. Okay, thanks. Uh, this supposedly is supposed to now knock them not as far away, but to me, I don't know, it, it just looks the same. Or Lee experts. Yeah, let me know here. Uh, is this a huge buff? I mean, to, to me, it looks the same. I mean, I, I, I haven't played Lee that much, but... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, apparently, that was buffed. I thought it was going to put them... God, nice lighting here with the sun. Um, I thought it was going to put them really close, but... Mm. Uh, decrease the... Di increase the duration. And they've also increased uh, Lee's crouching status. When he does this, you see he ducks down super far. Very far. And now uh, he has crouching status status for three more frames. Uh, so I guess that's good when it comes to crushing. Um, so that was Lee. I certainly expected more, but I guess Bandai Namco are happy where Lee is. Um, and this is nice, um, his uh, large backlash is now safe, it used to be minus 10 but now it's minus 9, so as it should be, I think that should have been safe already at the start of season 3, um, so that, that's really nice.
Uh, and we've increased the lower range of the attack. So the hitbox is lower, but it's still a high. Uh, change the move to a home. Change the move to a homing attack. But that was always homing. That was homing in at the start of season 3. Uh, wasn't it? Uh, Ford 3 made the move less likely to put you on the other side of the opponent, which would occur under certain conditions. Okay. Oh, it wasn't! I thought it was. Okay, so it's a proper backlash now. Uh, that's good for Lars. And uh, that's it for Lars. Uh, now we're gonna go to Miguel. I have actually, I haven't even read his changes, but I hear he actually got some quality stuff, some quality buffs. So that should be good for Mr. Sefi Black. So we have Downford 1 2 seems to have been buffed, I'm thinking. Shorten the recovery time by two frames when the move hits or misses. This changes the frame advantage when the move hits from plus three. No, plus one to plus three. That's definitely good. Change the opponent's behavior when the move lands as a counter hit. Oh. Oh shit. So he gets a follow up here. Damn, that's, uh, that's super nice. And uh, a lot of people complained about his uh, Super Snake Edge. No, Super Hell Sweep. That was a 27 frame uh, counter it launcher. But the thing is, the animation doesn't really give it away. I'm having some stick issues, sorry. Uh, but but there's a very loud uh, cue where he shouts, making it easier to block, I guess. So it does more damage now. It does 28 instead of... Uh, it used to do 24. Uh, change the move to a ho Oh, it's now a homing. Oh, that's good. Uh, but most likely something that's going to be used so much in beginner and intermediate ranks. But as soon as you go up to um, high level, it's not going to be used very much. And in pro level, I don't think you'll see anyone use that. Considering you have Damak 4, Damak 3, Savage Damak 3. Um, although you don't have... It, it must be severely or savagely missed. The season two uh, Savage Down Back Free. Holy shit, what a low that was. Uh, and then we have Forward 4 2. Reduce the attack's knockback to prevent the second hit from missing when the first hit is blocked. Oh, it used to do that? That sucks. Well, good buff. So, meh. This is great. This is great. But okay, good shit, Miguel. Uh, and then I hear Zafina has, has some really nice buffs. Uh, why is there no resub alert? I just saw your, your sub alert. There's just no sound on them. Uh, but th thanks so much. I'm gonna thank you in two seconds. I'm just finishing a video for YouTube here. I'm trying to keep good pacing. And uh, so, Zafina. Um, they fixed consistency issues with the Ray Chart, where she would switch sides. They've reduced the likelihood of that happening. And then, one free, which is her 10 frame punish into Scarecrow. Shorten the recovery time by two frames. This changed the frame advantage from minus four to minus two when blocked, and from plus seven to uh, plus five to plus seven when it hits. Definitely a huge buff. And then four, four, three, four. Fixed an issue in which the second hit would be blocked if the first hit struck the opponent. Oh, oh, that, that's a good fix. And then during Scarecrow stance. 
um, down for 4. Decrease the distance between the character and the opponent when the move lands as a counter hit. Oh. Oh, that's good. Easier to do uh, a, a follow up, I guess. Um, okay, good shit for Zafina. And now I'm going to do the rest in chronological order. I, I know Lei has got some really good buffs, but I, I, I'm gonna take him chronologically. Patrick, I, I look like a serial killer. <laughs> uh, Patrick, what's up, by the way? Um, let's see, we're gonna do King. I still remember my first date, you know, with my girlfriend here, my, the mother of my son. Uh, and I was waiting for her outside the subway. I was standing like this. Like this. Uh, right outside the very dark subway. Uh, and it was just a spotlight on my face like this from a, uh, a street light. <laughs> Jesus, this is uh, wa wonderful lighting conditions here for this little video here. Uh, so, King, back to one. Reduce the attacks, knock back to prevent the second hit from missing when the first hit is blocked. So he also got his quality of life change. Of course, King. I, I don't think I've ever seen a a balance patch for any season or any balance patch where he's been nerfed. He's always ba okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna now the sun is right in my face. Fuck you! What what timing is this? Wait until my uh, video is over. I can't see. Okay. So back to one quality of life. So that that was it. And then we're gonna go to Yoshimitsu. I know he has some good shit. They buffed the damage on this. Increased the low range of the second hit. Oh, you know why they did that? They gave him a wall combo. What's the wall combo again? Is it... That's the wall combo, right? Jesus! You see? It took, it took quite a while, a couple of years. But now, Yoshi actually has a high damage wall combo. I musician is gonna like that. And then we have, um, let's see, during Manji Dragonfly. What's Dragonfly? Is this Dragonfly? What? What's Dragonfly? Can can someone help me out? Oh, that's it. Okay. Uh, the four option, sl slightly, okay, so they, they changed that as well to, 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 to make, make it work as a wall combo, lower range of the attack. Okay, they, they, they basically made a wall combo for him. Okay, that's it. Um, Hoarang, down for 1-3, fixed an issue in which the opponent could shorten the length they were stunned when hit by inputting the command to crouch. So down for 1-3 with Horang got a quality of life change. It always has the same frame advantage on hit. And surprisingly, they did not remove his command throw uh, that guaranteed a... Well, is it... What was the command throw? Back 2 plus 4 guaranteed a... A back turn 4 for 56 damage in total. They didn't remove that. It's so cheesy. That stays... And with Brian down two, increase the distance between the character and the opponent when the move hits the opponent while they're down. Okay. Feng Wei. Oh, okay.
can you, you, you know what I, I'm just gonna I never use my curtain because we it's just so seldom we see any sun. I'm just surprised there's so much sun. Like why? What is this? This is Sweden. Uh so Feng Wei. Down for four to one plus two recovers three frames faster. Oh, so, you, so, so you can very easily do a proper wall combo now. It used to recover way too slow. Uh, I fully agree here. What the fuck is going on? Okay, you know what? We'll just do this. I've seen paper baskets able to do staple combos with Feng Wei, but I can't do it for some reason. Eesh! Uh, so that's good, and then forward dash fixed an issue in which pressing down forward simultaneously during a forward dash would ac accidentally perform the move for down forward forward. Okay. Quality of life. Alyssa. Fixed an issue, fixed an issue. Okay. Uh, Gigas. Increased the lower range of the attack of downback 3-2. Hmm. Oh, so making it more reliable for uh, for juggling purposes, I guess. So that Dominic Free 2 hits lower. That's it. I didn't skip Alisa. I just told you what happened to her. Um, orange Rotar. Oh. Man, this took way longer than I thought it would. Uh, Nina. Let's see, down back 3-4. Increased the lower range of the attack. Oh, does it hit almost grounded now? Okay, oh, great. Um, this is more like fixing problems with the attributes of the moves. Yeah, a lot of bug fixes. So that's it. They, they buffed the damage on that. Okay. Um... Oh, Ma Master Raven has been buffed? Uh, 
Uh, Karaska, I don't think you're going to see uh, more balance fixes anytime soon. Is this a move? Oh, it's a counter hit launcher. That's the change. Um. Okay, only lay left. Uh, I hear his, his rage drives have all been buffed. Okay, so basically, during all of his rage drives, they fixed an issue in which rage would be consumed before the move was performed if the command was input in advance while shifting stances. So you could lose your rage by shifting stances? I've never heard of this, but it sounds really dumb. This is Panther, right? Oh, this is Panther. Decrease the distance between the character upon the first hit land, change the opponent's player on the second hit land. Isn't this Panther or is, or is this Beggar? So, uh, so apparently that keeps them closer now, uh, closer. Fixed an issue in which blah, 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 blah. Fixed an issue in attack, attack, wow. Fixed an issue in which you couldn't do five strings in a row in under one second. The game wouldn't allow you. Now you can do six. Okay. Now you can do attack. <laughs> Wait. Uh, fixed an issue in which the length of stun inflicted by the fourth hit differed when the it first hit was normal hit. I can't even read this. You, you can really tell... This was translated from Japanese and not in a very, um, what's it called, straightforward way. Uh, well, Leia's had changes. Apparently his rage drivers, rage drives are more reliable now. You don't lose them uh, while stance stance switching. And apparently on Razor Rush, when the first hit la landed as a counter hit, the fourth hit would have a different property on hit from when the first hit connects on a normal hit. Yeah, it's all super confusing. Uh, so it, most of this patch feels rather like yeah, hitbox issues being fixed. Uh, but there were some nerfs, some buffs. And the biggest takeaway is Akuman Dragonov getting nerfed, and rightfully so, as they were both a bit ridic ridiculous. So that was good. But I think Akuma is probably going to get more toning down in the future.